Good day students, welcome to math.surf.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 7.6 of our virtual calculus text on the applications of integration. We're going to be looking at how integration can be used to solve motion problems involving position, velocity, and acceleration. The sa a sample problem of what we're going to be looking at in this uh, tutorial is presented here. Find a position function where v of t is equal to 3t squared minus 5t plus 169. Do not forget we have four practice problems at the end of this tutorial that we'll like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. Alrighty, let's take a look at the instructions for question number one. So for the first problem, we are to find the position function, find the position function, Position functions can be written as uh, s of t of, or x of t, okay? So let's use s of t in this case. Find the position function, s of t, uh, for the given velocity function and um, initial condition. And initial condition. All right, so let's say the velocity function for this particular example is 3t squared minus 52t plus 169. And we have the initial condition, the position, initial position at times t equals zero is equal to 14. Okay, all right, so now we are uh, we want to we need to find s of t. So that's our task right here. We want to find the position function s of t. All right, so how do we do that? We're given velocity. We want to find the position function. So we're going to call up our SIVA continuum. So SIVA, you can use s or x for position, and then velocity, and then acceleration. Okay, so we have position velocity and acceleration that's SIVA for you all right so um, how are they connected that's the question well when you're going down the SIVA continuum you just have to remember that when you're going down you differentiate okay so from position uh, to velocity you differentiate with respect to time and then from velocity to acceleration you differentiate all right, so you differentiate your way down the SIVA continuum and you integrate your way up. If you're going from acceleration to velocity, you integrate your acceleration plus the constants of integration. And if you're going from position, to, I'm sorry, from velocity to position, you'll integrate again uh, plus your constant C. All right, so remember, don't forget down, differentiate, up, integrate. All right, so to find, um, for the position function, we need the formula that's going to guide our problem solving process. So looking at SIVA here, we can clearly see what the formula is. The position S of T, given V of T means we're going to go from V way up to S, okay? We're going up, so we're integrating. So S of T, the position at any time T, is the integral of V of T dt plus the initial condition C, okay? All right, so that's the formula that we are going to be implementing here. Okay, so our position function s of t, we're just going to input the velocity function into the integrand. That's going to be 3t squared minus 52t plus 169. All right, we're integrating this entire thing with respect to t. And then don't forget your constant of integration c. All right, you add that C whenever you're dealing with indefinite integration. S of T equals, so using the power rule, we all remember what that is. The integral of X to the N DX um, is equal to power plus one over power plus one plus C. In this case, our independent variable is T, so we just use T instead of X. Okay, so if we apply that, we're gonna do term by term integration. I'm using the sum of difference rules. So if we integrate the first one, we have three t to the two plus one, which is three over three minus 52 
t, so the power here is 1, so it's 1 plus 1, 2 over 1 plus 1, which is 2, plus 169, this one is t to the 0, so it's going to be t to the 0 plus 1, which is 1, over 0 plus 1, which is 1, plus the constant c. Okay? All right, let's uh, simplify, make it look pretty here. So our position function s of t is going to be t to the third minus 26t squared plus 169t plus c. This guy right here is the general position function, all right? It's general. We are provided uh, with initial conditions so we can find the particular solution for uh, this position function, and the initial condition is s of 0 equals 14. All right, so this information here, s of 0 equals 14, will help us to find c. We're going to use that to find c. All right, okay, so our t value is 0, so we just basically plug 0 into the t values, and then s of t uh, goes into this position right here. All right, so t is going to go there, 0, it's going to go there, 0, and then 0, and then 14 is going to go to our s of t value, okay? All right, so s of t is 14. 14 is equal to the function evaluated at 0. So 0 to the third minus 26 times 0 squared plus 169 times 0 plus c. When we work this out, all these are 0, 0, 0, so we get c is equal to 14. So that's our constant of integration. So the particular solution for this problem is the position function s of t is equal to t to the third minus 26 t squared plus 169. Now that we found uh, plus 169 t, now that we found c is equal to 14, we're just going to add it on here. And that is the answer to question number one. All right, let's take a look at question number two. What if we have a situation where you have to find the velocity function? Okay, so in this scenario, let's say we were to find the velocity function. Velocity function um, with the given acceleration. Given acceleration function and initial condition, okay? All right, so let's say we have um, the following problem. We have the acceleration function a of t is equal to negative 12 t squared plus 60 t. And our velocity at time 1 is equal to 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, figure this out. All right, so what we want to do in this problem, we are trying to find the velocity function v of t, the particular velocity function. All right, so what's the relationship between velocity and acceleration? Let's call up our SIVA continuum again. So S or X. Remember, X is for a mo motion along the X axis, okay? And S is any position. They both, they both represent position. Position, velocity, acceleration. Uh, so when you're going down your SIVA continuum, you differentiate with respect to time, okay? And then when you are going up, you integrate, right, plus our constant C. And then if you're going from velocity to acceleration like we did in a previous problem, you integrate plus C. Okay, so here we have acceleration and we want to find velocity. So we're going from A to V. So to go up, you integrate. Integrate your way up, differentiate your way down. All right, so let's write down the formula that's gonna guide our problem solving process. The formula is as follows. The velocity function given acceleration is the integral of a of t dt plus the constant of integration c. Okay, so let's apply that here. V of t is gonna be the integral of negative 12 t square plus 60 t dt 
and then we don't forget to add our constant of integration okay all right uh, v of t is gonna be let's integrate using our power rule again negative 12 t to the power plus 1 which is 3 over power plus 1 plus 60 t to the power plus 1 the power was here before was 1 here before so it's now 2 over power plus 1 2 plus c okay all right now let's simplify that v of t is equal to negative 4 t to the third plus 30t square plus c okay so this right here what we just found this is the general um uh velocity function we want to find a particular one we're going to be using v of one the initial condition v of one equals one all right so just remember that what goes into the function is t and the output is v of t all right so let's substitute that in here and then use that to find c so we can have the particular solution all right so v of one is one so one is equal to then plug in one into all the x's here negative four times one to the third plus 30 times one square plus c simplify one equals negative 4 plus 30 plus C and then simplify that 1 is equal to 26 plus C and then you subtract 26 from both sides we get C is equal to negative 25 all right so um, let's go ahead and write down what our particular solution is for this problem so for this problem, our velocity function, V of t, is going to be what we get when we plug in the c value into our general solution. So it's negative 4t to the third plus 30t squared minus 25. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our velocity function. Alrighty, now it's your turn to do some practice problems. We have four problems that we'd like you to try out. Go ahead and pause this video presentation at this time and attempt these four problems. When you're done, click on the playback button and we will reveal what the correct answers are. Welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try the problems. Let's take a look at the answers. For number one, the position function is t to the fourth minus 10t cubed plus three for number two the position function is negative t to the third plus 24 t square minus 144 t plus seven for number three our velocity function is 4 t to the third minus 42t square plus 5. And then lastly, our velocity function for number 4 is 4t to the third minus 27t square. Bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how well did you do in these practice problems? Let us know what you scored in the comment section below. If you have any questions about these practice problems or the contents of this tutorial just let us know and we'll be glad to assist thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation if you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of calculus when it comes to motion um, do give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel for updates to other tutorials such as this tons of support resources can be found at mathgodserve.com do check it out thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day goodbye